so I have another, my last order from the Tom Ford Summer 2016 collection. This is by Coastal. And this was delayed, and I, there were all kinds of rumors as to why it was delayed. It's coming from Belgium, and because of the terrorist attack, nothing was leaving the port. Who knows? But it's finally arrived, and mine finally came. And I actually went in store to look at this and compare it with some other blushes, particularly in the Tom Ford regular blush collection. And I found that the colors in this one are very similar to two of the blushes, but the finish is super, super different. So we'll talk about that in a second. So by Coastal, this is $78, and it's a highlighter and blush duo with petal pink cheek colors to bring light reflective finish to bronze summer skin. And as you can see on me, I've got the cheek color dotted on like this, and then I've got the highlight color dotted on here, here, on the eyes, lining the eyes, not with this brush, with a with an eyeshadow brush, liner brush, and um, you know, the usual. I should have actually come up here, but I didn't, so we can do that in the video. And then I have Paradiso, which is a re-release lip color on my lips, which I bought last year. So you get the gold box, you get the little white pouch. And then you get the compact. So this is not the bigger size of the compacts that they have for the summer collection. It's the smaller size, which is fine. That's all you need for a blush. And you open it up and you get the beautiful mirror, which says Tom Ford on it. And then you get this. And I've already seen a bunch of people online note that this formula is similar to the Mood Light, which came out last year, 2015. And that was kind of a shimmery contour highlight palette and like the mood light this has that little crisscross pattern and so when I compared this formula to the blushes at Tom Ford I found that this is a little bit less creamy it, they're both finely milled it's a very finely milled product and so let's I should have probably gone into the colors first but it's super finely milled, but it has a little bit more shimmer to it, and it's less powdery. Not that the Tom Ford blushes are powdery, but they have this rich, dense creaminess. Um, and this is a little bit lighter. So, what else do they say? They say, give bronze skin ultimate radiance with the sheer pink cheek duo embossed with the Tom Ford logo. Two pink hues that bring a shimmery glow. It's oil-free, soft pink highlighter and bold rose blush can be applied wet for a soft yellow color or dry for a sweeping pop of vibrancy. Use these shades alone or layer them for a long lasting color that lasts beautifully. Um, so, wet, they are a little bit more vibrant, not exactly like a cream blush, but you do get kind of a creaminess that you don't get applying it dry. As far as long term wear, I don't notice that much of a difference personally, but that just might be me with my dry skin. Um, but it's so pigmented already, sometimes with these wet dry formulas, you need that extra wet formula thing to give you real pigmentation. On my skin, which is medium light, uh, I need to be careful not to over apply anyway, so wet's not going to help. And I don't, I don't notice, I notice the lighter shade a little bit more metallic but I don't notice a big difference with the darker pink so what did I think so first of all let's do the lighter shade it's right here and this one reminded me a lot of frantic pink and I I love frantic pink I think it's just the greatest color in the world I just you have to have lighter skin I don't think it works for super deep warm skin tones but it's just such a pretty color and so this right here I said it has a shimmery, glittery, soft strawberry pink, slightly cool, but then the shimmer in the sunlight is gold and silver, so it has a little bit of a white base to it, but because it's got that little bit of gold shimmer and that silver shimmer, it's a little bit warmer on than the actual shade itself would be, and so like I said, I have this right here. Let's put a little bit more just so we can see if we can build it up so you can see it. I mean, I wouldn't wear it out. The one complaint I've heard about this is that it does have visible bits of glitter and some people don't like that. So you can already see as I build it up it's getting a little metallic. If you apply it lightly 
it really isn't metallic, but if you build it up, you can get a little touch. Not super metallic, but a little bit. And again, these are super, super finely milled. Very pretty. They last about, about eight hours on me. The next one, the rose. I thought this one was similar to Wicked. It's a neutral, vibrant watermelon pink is what I said. So here it is. This one I have to be careful not to build up too much or I start looking like a clown because it's a really vibrant pink. So if you've got darker skin tones, this one I think just, you know, Wicked's a great color and I think this one is too. Comparing them next to each other, this one's a little touch lighter and then it has that sheen, that, that glow, um, that shimmer. This one doesn't have visible bits of glimmer, but that extra little touch of sheen that you don't get, you get the glow from the Tom Ford blushes, but you don't get the sheen. With these you get the sheen, but not quite the metallic stage. So it's not going to kind of make your pores pop in a way you don't want. Um, I really like this a lot. I don't love it, and the reason I don't love it is because I love the blushes that are similar to this so much. And so this is really gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I like the regular formula just a touch better than this one. And that's sometimes it's a hard thing in a review. You're like, well, I really love it, but I like the other ones too. So what else did I say about it? Um, I don't have any issues with kind of uneven wear or blotchiness or whatever. It's just a really beautiful product, very well made. It's going to work on most skin tones given that it has the vibrancy in that rose. I do think that some people will not like the shimmer as much, the highlight shade, just because it's got that extra little hint of glitter, which some people don't like. So if you want to layer it, so we've got this right here, dot it on, and then you just take this and you kind of put it where you feel you want the... I like it on top of the cheekbones better just because then I feel like that's where the light's going to hit, but you can actually put it into, blend it into the blush itself, and you're just going to get a slightly different look. I don't have anything else to say, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have this or have thoughts, suggestions, comments, I would love to hear them. And please subscribe on YouTube because it does help me a lot. Thanks for watching.